Welcome to the Department of Commerce Electronic Certificate of Origin System. In this video, we will be showing users how to apply for an affidavit for your holy products. To get started, go ahead and log in to your exporter portal. We are now inside the Electronic Certificate of Origin dashboard, where you are given tiles displaying the various functions that can be performed. Before we get started, let's go to My Products by clicking on the top right button. We are directed to My Products table where you can see a list of your products along with their product names, category and whether there is an associated cost statement or affidavit. If you take a look at the first column of our table, you can see that products are ordered as HS code, agreement, destination country and if available, price and style. There can be instances where the same product is exported to multiple countries using multiple agreements. For example, within this table, we have seen our paper product, which is exported to Maldives through SEPTA and to Bangladesh through SEPTA, which is denoted as two separate rows. With this information in mind, let us go back to our dashboard and get started with adding an affidavit. First, we will go ahead and add a product we are trying to export. So click on the top leftmost tile, Add Product. This is our Add Product screen, where we will enter our product details. Let me go ahead and type in IHS code. Give a product name. For this demonstration, I will be choosing Woven Jackets to be my product name. Select a destination, which for this demo will be India, and an agreement, the ISFTA. And now we will select a product category. Since we're talking about affidavits, it will be a holy product. If you choose non-holy products, then cost statements are the relevant documentations required for it. And now you're given a bunch of product subcategories to choose from. And based on what product subcategory is selected, you are required to upload the relevant documentation pertaining to that product subcategory. For example, if I select spices and allied as my product subcategory, I will be prompted to upload the supplier list, warehouse details, auditor report, bank letter, bank facility letter, and other documentation. Now, if I go ahead and choose edible fish instead, I am prompted to upload a registration certificate and other documentation. Now, if I choose tea, I will upload a tea board certificate as exporter and other documents. If I choose edible fish processed, I will upload the registration certificate, agreement and other documents. If I choose coconut based products, I will upload the coconut development board certificate and other documents. And of course, if I select timber and furniture, I will, they will prompt me to upload the timber corporation certificate and other documents. But for the purpose of this demonstration, since I have chosen woven jackets, let me go ahead and select other and I'm not prompted to provide any special document uploads for this particular subcategory. And now I can go ahead and enter a product style and price as optional fields. If we do enter these, they will appear in our product description as well. I can also add in a description as an optional field. Now let's go ahead and click save product. I will now be prompted asking if I want to upload this same product to multiple countries using multiple agreements. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will go ahead and select a few countries to export this product to and a few destinations. Now that I have completed this, let's go ahead and click on finish. And now within the My Products table, you can see the product we have just added along with multiple rows for the different destinations and different agreements we have selected. It is now prompting me asking me to apply for an affidavit. So let me go ahead and click this button. And now I have received this prompt asking if I have a Department of Commerce issued affidavit. If you do, go ahead and click yes. Since I did click yes, it has directed me to this particular page. Now it is worth noting that you will be able to add multiple products to the same affidavit document. The system allows you to add up to 15 products for your affidavit. As you can see, it has pre-selected the one I clicked for my convenience. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will add a few more. And now I will enter the approved date of my affidavit and upload the relevant documentation.
Once that is uploaded, I will click on submit. A prompt appears on the top left saying my affidavit has been successfully submitted. You can now see the status of the affidavit has changed to approved and it shows me the expiration date of the affidavit. When this document expires, the green button approved will be changed to reapply. So you can reapply for an affidavit from the My Products table itself without any hassle. And now for the purpose of this demonstration, I will also show you what the process will look like if we do not have a Department of Commerce approved affidavit. So let me go ahead and choose another product we have added, which is the same product being uploaded to a different destination with a different agreement and click on apply. Now this time around, I will say that I do not have a Department of Commerce approved affidavit by choosing no. Now I'm directed to what looks like the same page as before, but in this page, since you do not have a DOC approved affidavit, you will not be asked for an approved date. Once again, you can add up to 15 products for your affidavit. So let me go ahead and select a few for the purpose of this demonstration. And now I will go ahead and upload my affidavit for Department of Commerce approval. Once that is done, I will go ahead and click the submit button and a prompt on top appears stating that the affidavit has been successfully submitted. Now looking at the My Products table, you can see the button for this particular product states submitted instead of approved. This is because your affidavit has now been sent for checking and approval to the Department of Commerce. And once they give their approval or rejection, that status of this button will change. Now let me skip ahead in time to show you what the Department of Commerce approval and rejection of an affidavit will look like for your PENS product. Now that a certain time has passed, officers at the DOC have processed my affidavit and given me their decision. It seems my affidavit has been approved and two of the products I have submitted are eligible and one product is not. My PEN product for Nepal through the SAPTA and Maldives through SAFTA are eligible while the product for China through APTA is not eligible. Let me click the login button to be directed to the login page of the electronic certificate of origin. Now let me once again enter my login details. Now let's go back to my products page. As you can see, the pens for Nepal and Maldives have been approved and you can see their expiration dates at the bottom. But the product for China has been rejected. So let me go ahead and re reapply with the corrected documents. This directs me to the same process as before where I can choose to upload a Department of Commerce approved affidavit or a new affidavit for the Department of Commerce approval. Once submitted, your documents will be reviewed once again and you will receive a response regarding their status. This concludes the application process for an affidavit. Please do continue watching this tutorial series as we will be explaining the application process for a certificate of origin in the next video. Thank you for watching.